Hey guys, uh, we have a warranty call here. It's a ream system that I put in three years ago. Uh, the condenser fan motor makes a really loud noise only when it shuts down. And I'm sitting here waiting on my, my, my guy, Kevin, that works for me full time. He was close to the ream store, so he went pick it up and he's bringing it to me. We're, we're not far from the job site, but I was called out a couple days ago for a noise complaint. I tried to get footage on it, but the customer's a major helicopter. But I'm hoping that my wife, my Candace is with me today. Ho hopefully she could sit under the carport and talk to him and distract him and keep him away from me. But anyway, the way he was describing it over the phone, it sounded like a scroll compressor, you know, going, Whirr, you know, when it shuts off. And I told him that that was normal. And he was like, no, John, this, this is like really, really loud. Like it wakes us up in our sleep. And I was like, oh, okay, well, yeah, it shouldn't be that bad. <clears throat> so I went over there and took a look and the compressor sounded good, but so, you know, I did some troubleshooting and what I did is I unplugged the fan motor and ran just the compressor by holding the contactor in compressor would shut down beautiful no noise did that about three or four times with just the compressor nothing put the fan motor back in did it again fan and i mean making like a brr, brr, i mean like a, i can't really do it but like loud and only on shutdown but i mean as far as it running and overheating it's not doing it, it it's cooling and everything it's just loud as hell when it shuts down and we'll try to get a, a shot of that Hopefully we can get film on this. I hope you guys get to see it. Okay, here's our unit. It's a three and a half ton from 2019. We have our new OEM motor. I'm gonna pull the disconnect and let you guys hear it. You hear that? Watch. Compressor started back up, nice and smooth. Now I'm gonna kill it again, listen. You hear that, it's violent. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the cover off and I'm gonna unhook the fan motor and show y'all how quiet it is once the fan motor's unhooked. I'm just gonna unhook the common wire from the bottom of the contactor. Disconnect is out. That's gotta be unhooked anyway to change the motor, so. Okay, watch this unhooked the common so we're not going to have any fan motor see that's normal let's hook the fan motor back up i don't know why ream puts them on the bottom i think i'm going to move it i'm going to move the new one to the top that's it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't need to be on the bottom. And then for this test, I guess that's so you can identify it. Yeah, and you can kind of hear the, like when it when it first took off spinning, it made a bing. I don't know if y'all heard that or not. And it's not spinning backwards, people. The camera can't pick up the frames per second. All right, let's give it, let's listen. You can hear the noise. So we're gonna swap her out.
cars are tied up in here too. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is measure our blade. Seven inches on the money. play. Okay. These are really easy to feed. They're not like train. You don't have to worry about cutting the wire and feeding it. Right. And it should be a 5 sixteenths under here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. She's hot. She might have been getting ready to stop. Make sure he gave me the right one. Fifth horse. Yeah. Comes with new bolts. That's nice. They look a little different. We're gonna keep the box because we have to return the old one so I can get credit on my account. are not nearly as fat as the old ones. These are some little bitty old skinny wires. Oh, I'm going to have to change the capacitor. Shit, I hope he gave me the right motor. old one is a fifth horse the new one's a fifth the rpm on the old one is 820 this one's 850 the old one calls for a 10 microfarad capacitor the new one calls for a five let me make a phone call all right so we're good to go this is the updated motor. And you know, I know sometimes manufacturers do that, but I just wanted to be sure. But I talked to my tech support guy uh, and gave him the part number and the model serial number of the unit. And he said, this is the correct motor. It's the updated motor. And he said, use the new bolts that come with it. He said, because they're different from the other ones. So that's what we're gonna do.
So just because it's an OEM motor doesn't mean you can put it back in the same spot. And we've got our seven inches right there, so that'll work. I'm going to probably save these. I'm going to just put them in my pocket for right now. No, that's a bad idea. I'm going to put them in my magnetic cup. Because if I put them in my pocket, they'll probably get washed. This out the way. And we have to change the capacitor because this one calls for a five microfarad. The other one had it called for a 10, so it's got a 45 slash 10 on it. Well, they, my ream guy said just, just change the capacitor and we'll just warranty it out and give you a new one. So we got to put a new capacitor on here. But the first thing we're going to do is feed these wires through the conduit. Okay, we got to change the capacitor from a 4510 to a 455, and they're going to give me a new one. And then this thing will be ready to run. All we got to do is put this back, put the dress up. Let's see. go and looks good all right so we're gonna change this capacitor we have a amrad 45 plus 5 since that's what this new one calls for. I'm using, well, I mean, I still have uh, some Mars and Jards left, but once those are gone, they're gone. I'm going uh, all AMRAD from here on out. See what kind of luck I have. Okay. This one is smaller. 
like physically smaller, but that's okay. Ream gives you a nice band with extra holes in it. It lines right up. See, that's the old one because it had a fat capacitor. So it lines up, but this is the screw Ream gives you. So that's not gonna cut it. Let me go get a longer screw. Okay, so I brought a three quarter screw and a two inch just in case, but I'm hope, and I looked back there, I'm not gonna hit anything even if I have to use the two inch one. But I'm gonna put that hard, that start thing that comes on these end reds out the way because we're not using that. Yeah, this should reach. Yep. What the hell? Okay, so we got our cap in with a three quarter inch screw. This is a common. That's the only thing I don't like about the AMRADS is that common in the middle. Sometimes it can be hard to get to. See, I don't think that's touching. I think that's the damn insulation. So, oh shit. So I'll take them and bend them out a little bit. There we go, get my wire on there and then fold it back. And then this is my compressor, which is the white three pin. And our motor wires. Used to run through here. Okay, so I got that one through. That'll be my fan, which is green on AMRAD. And then the other common that goes on common on the capacitor, feed it through here, through this zip tie. Just like that, get that in the middle. All right, but Ream likes to put the, uh, the black speed wire on the bottom of the contactor and I, I'm just not gonna do that. I think they do that so you can identify it, but I will put it on the opposite side Plus I'll know by the smaller gauge wire that it's the, ooh, that it's the condenser fan motor. Boy, them spades are tight from the factory. Okay, now I'll set y'all back up here. I'm just getting everything cleaned up with a zip tie. I'm a huge believer in cleaning up your wires with zip ties. It just makes everything look so much better. All right, so zip ties, zip ties, 45 plus five, because the new motor calls for a five, or a purple, on Ream and Rude is your Hermetic. Brown is fan. Your two oranges are common. Let's fire this baby up. That sounded really smooth. Disconnect. Listen for the noise. We 
still have it a little bit. It may be the blade, but it's not nearly as bad. Yeah, I heard it again. I think the hub on the blade is messed up. Yep. Shit. Okay, we'll have to get him a blade. Okay, guys, well, you know, that that was a bust. It could have went either way. I do think that the noise is a little better, but off camera, which you guys didn't get to see because the customer is a helicopter, I took the top back off and I pulled the blade back off and the hub is is doing it, it, like I can move I can like barely move it like it's it's gonna break eventually so that's what the problem is is the hub is you know like loose on the blade I probably could have did something with it but you know it's a it, the unit's under warranty I don't think the blade's gonna fall off they they didn't have they didn't have the blade in stock uh no and the rude store is closed they close early it's after five o'clock now I actually called my ream store five minutes before he closed and he said no I don't have the blade so he had to order one from Baton Rouge and the Rude store, they close at like four o'clock. I mean, that it, I hate the Rude store. I love the Rude store. I love the guys there, but I just hate that they close at four o'clock. It, it's so inconvenient. Anyway, um, cause I would have just went to the Rude store and got him a blade and ate the warranty or, I mean, they might have even warranted it for me, but they probably would have charged me a fee, but I don't care. I still would have did it and went right back over there. So I'll probably just go ahead and upload this part, and then when we go change the blade, I'll upload that, because this video is probably long enough already. All right, guys, well, that was my last one for the day. It's Friday. It is after 5 o'clock. It's been a cloudy day but the rain has held off so we were able to get some work done we changed out we changed out that coil in that Lennox air handler from the previous video I wasn't able to get film on it um, just had too much to do today and really needed to concentrate and get the job done because uh, I was overloaded today because we had no rain so we get him a blade and we'll just shoot another video. So until then, thank y'all for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one.